What's up, Taurus? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma, and this is your timeless reading. If you are new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. I'm a Taurus Sun, Moon, Mercury, and North Node. If at any time you resonate with this reading, please go ahead and hit the like button. I just want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. Uh, my birthday was on May 18th, and then my mother's memorial was on May 20th. And um, I'm recording this at the end of May, but it was just the most phenomenal weekend like some family i haven't seen in years uh came and it was just beautiful it was just it was a beautiful weekend so i just want to thank all of you guys who sent me messages i can't like respond to each one of your messages or else it would take forever so i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i send all of your love and your warm wishes back to you times 10 i just pray over all of you for blessings and abundance healing and of course the gift of sight hearing discernment all of those wonderful gifts i pray all of that over you and thank you for your continued support taurus um i love you guys a lot oh look we're on the bottom all right so um before i get too savvy and start crying let's start with my blessing and prayer i've extended the sale on my website to may 31st um because i was just kind of gone with all my family so i didn't think that was fair because i was sold out for a few days so 20 percent code is taurus let's jump right into my blessing and prayer and see what messages the holy spirit has for you father god divine holy spirit of the most high lord jesus thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for taurus in regards to their current life situation soul journey and soul path I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher wisdom and knowledge into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, and all that you are, and all that you do, and all that I am, and all that I do. I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's take a look, Taurus. What's going on? Immature emotions with the number five. Think it through. So you have 14 twice, which is five, five, five. Immature emotions. Think it through. Honesty with the number 16. And then you have low vibes. On the bottom, you have be confident. So there's somebody that is going to be coming towards you that is immature. I feel like they're trying to come in and rock the boat a little bit. I honestly don't feel like this person is being honest. And I think that the honesty card is here to tell you, like, you need to really look at this situation. Okay. And you need to be confident in all things that you do because whatever is coming at you, it's coming at you because your light is so bright. It's, it's so you don't lose your confidence because that person's low vibes, they're not yours. Right. Um, but you do need to think something through here. Make sure that you're not basing a decision solely off of emotions, which I, I actually, Taurus, I don't think that's you. I think that it's this other person coming in because these emotions seem to be rocking somebody up. Okay. Yeah, they seem to be rocking somebody up here and they're going over something. They're, somebody's in a very low space. And I don't feel like it's you. Um, if it is you, I just, that's not how spirit is presenting it. But I am a Taurus and I know that just a few weeks ago, I was in a space like this um, while I was ascending uh, on another situation, right? I was dealing with another situation that I knew I was spiritually healing. And I got into a really, really dark space in it. And, and perhaps some of you are there now, okay? Um, and if it's you, my best piece of advice to you when doing spiritual work, um, because sometimes, especially if we're not aware because those emotions and those memories just come out of nowhere, it's so, so important to, to always constantly remember what you're doing and the work that you're doing so that when those old outdated emotions and memories rise to the surface you don't act on them you can stay in silence and peace so that you can properly transmute it and release it from your energetic field okay you have the king of cups as the current energy of the situation so you could have a water sign that's sitting here meditating about you in the past you have the page of pentacles so this person may have just not really brought in a lot to the table you're showing up as the hanged man. 
You're not making any movement towards anything. This outside energy is showing up as the sun. They view you as the sun. Your challenge is the four of swords, the silence, the pause, the break, and the outcome is the seven of cups. On the bottom, you have the high priestess, the ace of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the empress, the six of cups, and the page of wands. Taurus, I feel bad for whoever's trying to come at you. I do. And let me tell you why. You're in a really deep, almost trance-like state of superb focus and manifesting and building the life of your dreams. Okay, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Look at this. Eyes closed everywhere. I'm creating. I'm taking. The divine is sending me wisdom, an idea, and I'm growing it. I'm growing it. I'm giving birth to it and I'm running with it. I don't have time for shenanigans. I'm doing it on my own now. That's really what it is. And I feel like it's confusing people because they don't understand how to not take it personal. And that's if they don't know if, if this person, if somebody is taking it personal, that you're in your zone. That you're in your zone with the most high if they're taking it personal towards it's because they don't know how to get in their zone with the most high and they're not focused on the build and the growth that you're focused on all right clarify the king of cups please as a current energy all right you have the nine of this person cannot stop thinking about you and i'm i keep hearing sail away by enya in my head okay so that may be of significant and this person is watching you sail away sail away sail i keep it's like not leaving um this person is watching you sail away from them and you're sailing away looking good because you're coming out as the nine of pentacles yep the world oh my gosh the ten of cups the four of wands They're watching you sail away. Three of swords, they're like, what have I done? Okay, this person may like singing bowls, but like, cause they're like, look at their hand. Or maybe they, you've done singing bowls with this person. Um, they think about you all the time. They daydream about you all the time, but they, you bring a wholeness to them. You bring a happiness to them that they've never experienced or felt. And they're looking at this new and independent Taurus and it's really, really, really got them in their feels. It's got them upset. And this person is feeling the loss of you. And I also feel like this person is like, wait a minute, that was, I should, that was my entire happiness. The thing is though, I feel like this person also knows that you're about to receive an abundance because of what you've been going through. All right, clarify the page of pentacles. In the past, you have the Page of Pentacles with the King of Wands, Strength, and the Three of Wands. And then you have the Empress with the Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords. What's going on? Um, this person in the past was struggling with taking control of a situation or even just like inner power. I don't think this person had a lot of confidence. Could have been a fire sign. I also have to say, because there's so many different people and they're all like, look like they're charging towards this Empress with a heartbreak. I feel like other people were involved with this page of Pentacles. Like there's other advice or information or something towards this empress about putting something on pause they were criticizing this empress right male or female it's just empress energy but the interesting thing is this energy over here didn't want this didn't want you to receive any sort of happiness and love and i almost feel like there was an energy around you taurus that was sending toxic intentions of like just wanted you to be in pain and then this energy over here didn't have the strength or courage to come towards you 
Um, this is going back into the last reading where I was talking about how strong your power is. You don't realize it. This is people with negative intentions towards you that can't get to you. It, it all stem, stems from jealousy. But with the Page of Pentacles, this is people who present themselves as a certain way and they're not. Okay, prideful people um, who try to act like they have it all together, but in reality, their foundation isn't even, there's not even a, there's not even a foundation. So you can't build something with someone who isn't growing. All right, you're showing up as a hanged man. There's a lot that's on pause for you right now. I do, again, with this high priestess that we were looking at before and the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, there's a lot of divine wisdom that you're receiving. I think that your life may have recently been flipped upside down but you're at a certain point level on your life journey that you realize like, okay, so I'm about to learn something. Why was it flipped upside down? I'm going to remain peaceful, still, and calm in the, in the situation. Yeah, you have the chariot here. It's about determination and willpower here. Why is the hanged man here with the chariot for Taurus's energy? Wow, the ace of pentacles. Yeah, you're waiting to make your move. Tower. There's a sudden change that's coming in when it comes to your stability or your money or your finances. You've been manifesting this. You've been building and creating this. And while you may feel like everything is on pause, while you're just working on building this empire, it's about to come in out of nowhere. Okay? It's about to come in out of nowhere. Yeah, the Hierophant here. You're receiving a blessing because of what you've been through. What comes in with this tower, please? Show me what comes in with this tower for Taurus. There's an offer coming in, racing towards you that you don't expect. Yep. Yeah. There it is, the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Somebody's coming towards you. And this is an offer of something that you're not expecting. Yeah, they wanna work on it with you. Yep, Nine of Cups, Six of Cups. So this person's going to rush towards you with an offer of commitment, stability. It also could be like a windfall of money, a new opportunity or new job that you weren't expecting, right? Things are just going to start picking up really, really big and fast for you. Again, use your discernment with what comes towards you. I, th this could be this offer with the immature emotions. Outside energy is the sun. It's your light. Five of Wands, the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune. This person is facing some type of conflict or arguments with people about their, their decision. They want to take a leap of faith towards you. It's very unexpected what's about to come towards you. You, you have no idea. None. And Spirit isn't going to show us either because the Two of Wands and the Hermit is here with the Four of Pentacles. Literally the Most High is saying, I'm not going to tell you. It's something that you've been working on though. Like, and when I say working on Taurus, you've been doing so much work. And you know how, and thank you, Spirit. We always say like, you, you don't, you don't see it because you don't know what's going on behind the veil. Yeah, that's, that's what's happening right now. You've done so much work that there's something that has been, as you've been releasing and healing yourself and bringing in the light of God, there's been this big package that's been being wrapped for you on the other side and bows have been being put all on it and it's on its way to you. It's major with this wheel of fortune, the sun, the fool and the wheel of fortune. And there's people who don't want you to have it because they know. There's people that know. And so you may have more than one offer or just all of a sudden a lot of people coming towards you and you're going to have decisions to make. Be confident, right? We get our confidence from God, but it's so important that you also take your time in making these decisions because I feel like there's one offer that's going to come in towards and you're going to want to run with it. And Spirit is like, just please look at each thing. Look at what each offer and, and really reflect and review on them. All right? You have the Four of Swords as your challenge. Ace of Swords. Page of Cups. So I feel there's a, a struggle here in somebody who may have 
um, lied and then ghosted you or just kept a lot to themselves here, but there's definitely this, this loss and this hardship, um, and, and, and an inability to see the truth. I feel like somebody tried to disgrace you as well. You've had to heal from a lot. You've had to heal from a lot. There was a lot of struggle here that you've kind of gotten through. And I feel like this person put you through it. And this person is now, it's like it's flipped. And now they want to come towards you and bring some type of offering and or apology. I also feel like you know this is coming. You have the Seven of Cups. Again, think it through. There's a lot of illusions and confusion coming in. All these cups are flipped upside down and you're trying to pick the right one. Five of Cups. You're just tired of emptiness. There's a lot of overwhelming emotions and grief here, feeling let down by someone. This King of Pentacles is feeling let down because you're receiving all kinds of abundance. Yeah, this person is regretting a decision or a choice that they made here because they're recognizing and realizing that you're their wish fulfillment. <laughs> You may be feeling very disconnected, very indifferent right now from society. I, I mean, I really, I just, that's a phase. It's a part of the healing process. Um, it's just because you're needing to process certain emotions, right? Because spirit is trying to get you into a space, Taurus, where they really want you to be able to see clearly what's coming towards you. So. The Seven of Cups energy really only exists in us when we are not walking fully with the Holy Spirit or with the divine, with the light of God, right? Because our discernment and our spiritual eyes won't be turned on. And so the Seven of Cups is there to remind us that if we don't clear out the pain in our heart, that means that we can become spiritually blind. And so there's this need for you to see something very, very clearly when it arrives because spirit needs you to think something through. They need you to think something through here. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Hmm. Because uh, there's a couple offers that are coming towards you in the name of love. Yep, the second time I've opened it up to lovers one of them is a trap one of them is a trap one of them is a person that does not have good intentions for you because i have the eight of swords here this is somebody who's still trapped ten of swords right they're just not coming from a good space so you're gonna need to really take a look at all of the energy that comes towards you uh soon all right all right taurus go ahead and uh think of your question right now you can hit pause if you'd like to you can pick pile one two or three you could pick more than one or you could pick all three it's entirely up to you and what you feel so let's just get them out here on the table for taurus please we have two now let's get pile number three all right taurus if you picked pile number one you have clear quartz get crystal clear like i said all right, get crystal clear. Um, if you picked pile number two, Taurus, you have red jasper. Take action. Take action. And Taurus, if you picked number three, you have carnelian. Feed your creativity. All right, you guys, sending you so much love, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.